Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a brand new product from Soraya Tech. It's their Build the Resin in Smoky Black. In typical Soraya Tech form, the Build Resin comes in a box surrounded by a styrofoam um, insert that perfectly cushions the bottle. Um, I really like their packaging, although it can be a little tricky to get out sometimes, but I find that taking it completely out of the box and then pushing the bottle out of styrofoam um, is a quick fix for that. So this is their build resin as usual it's a thousand gram um, bottle and so far it seems to only make it in one color smoky black um, now i'm going to set up for my test prints um, i gotta clean that I'm inserting to the elegumars printer um, i noticed that um, the depth got a little dirty on the bottom so i'm gonna give it a quick clean before i fill it up Now with any resin, you want to make sure you give it a good shake to stir up all the particles. Make sure it's evenly distributed before you pour it into your vat. Um, this bottle features a new cap for Soraya Tech, including an inner seal, which is new. Um, I don't know if it helps. Um, I know I think they had some issues with leaking in the past, but any improvement is good to see. I'm gonna fill it up to the usual amount that I use for this printer. Um, I find that this level is more than enough um, for what I print, for all the prints I use, and I don't ever have a problem with um, over overfilling. Um, I'm also wearing um, um, gloves um, with resin or any chemicals you wanna make sure you wear your safety gloves. Now with the lid back on, it's time for the load up the first test print. So now I'm hitting print on the printer, selecting my file, hitting run, and away we go. first batch of prints are all out of the resin. Um, I think they came out absolutely beautiful. Um, all those stuff to give them good cleaning and then curing. Here you can see the second batch of test prints in the curing station. From here everything looks good. Seems like they have a lot of detail. But let's look at them up close under the macro lens. Here we have our little tank from, um, I forget the game that's from, Metal Slug, I think. Um, it's a very small print. It's printed at the original size of the printer. Um, also printed out a heart pendant that's hollow. Looked cool. Got the dragon ring. Um, a ghost pendant from Destiny. Um, a lion head's ring. 
All these prints came from my mini factory from the jewelry section. You have a ring from Assassin's Creed. I picked these prints because they had a lot of detail, a crown ring, um, and I just wanted to see what this resin could do. This is actually a part for my El Gumars. Um, it's supposed to be a flexible filament extruder, and you, here you can see the same part printed in PETG didn't come out well. And then here's a PA, PLA part that printed cleanly, but broke as soon as I installed the spring. So I haven't had much any success with installing this part. Um, but stay tuned, I might do a video installing the resin printed part and seeing how it goes, see if it holds up. Here's a close up look of the metal slug tank. You can see that it really retained details. Even the little gap between the little side panel and the tracks, it, you, there's even gaps between the wheels, the tracks, and the main body. Very small tracks. Every little pipe and detail, perfectly preserved. Now we have the ring from Assassin's Creed. I'm gonna focus the camera a little bit, give you a better look. Um, this ring didn't have a lot of detail. But you can see the overhang on it, no warping whatsoever, very clean part. I left the sprues on all the prints so you can see what orientation I printed it at. Um, print, I basically printed them straight up. Um, I think they came out perfectly. Now we're taking a look at the dragon ring. Um, I printed this printout earlier in Serratex Simple. Um, the dragon symbol on top came out good on that print, but I think this print came out better. Um, here's the heart pendant. Um, it looks just like it did in the file. I think it came out perfectly can't see any imperfections whatsoever with this print. Now we're going to take a look at the ghost from pendant from Destiny. Again, very small details, all seem preserved. Um, everything looks smooth. Um, I'm excited to, I may paint this one up and see how it turns out. I'm excited. Um, this would be an awesome print to cast in metal, I think. Here's the tiger head, or is it a lion head's print? Um, again, this one had way more detail than the other prints, but I think it held the detail very well. Next, we have the crown ring print. Um, obviously, the detail is very good. I'm interested to see um, the detail on the underside where the supports are connected to. Um, from what I can tell this part, it looks like it retained them, but we'll see once I take the supports off. And then here's a close up look at the flexible extruder part for the Elugu Mars. This print impressed me because the overhang um, printed really clean. I was really impressed by that. And also the coupling threaded into the resin really easy. Threaded in the first try. I tried to do the same print out of Soraya Tex Fast and no, no luck. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Leave comments if you want to see something to other type of videos and stay tuned. Thanks. Let us